What's up my dudes, Jesse Mails here with Backwater Fly Fishing. Today I'm right in the middle of tying some flies and I figured I'd stop and tell you five really good reasons why if you fly fish, you should also tie your own flies. guys so the number one reason i think everybody that fly fishes should tie flies is because it gives you a deeper connection with sport with the activity um, another layer if you will um, when you're out there and you're fishing um and, and maybe you love fly fishing um and maybe the reason you've given yourself is you don't have the time you're not creative all these different reasons people don't tie flies but when you do tie a fly and you go out into the field and it could be a garbage fly it doesn't have to be pretty and you go out in the field and you catch a fish on something that you made there's a whole nother level of appreciation for the situation uh, at least for me for the fish for um for the environment for the whole scenario surrounding how it led up to you hooking that fish now I know for me what flies I fish and what flies I fool fish with means a lot. To me that's so much part of the game that um, without it I would feel like there's a big gap in the sport for me. And I think anybody that gets into fly tying ends up feeling like that. So I think it just gives you a deeper understanding of the sport. Now the second reason is because undoubtedly especially if you're a trout fisherman it's going to give you a whole new level of understanding when it comes to what the fish are eating and why they're eating it. I mean, when you look at all the nymphs and all the different types of terrestrials and then streamers and all these things that, that take place in trout fishing, you already have thousands upon thousands of different patterns that are going to imitate different uh, insects at different stages of their life and in different situations. Um, matching the hatches er, per se is extremely important when trout fishing now in salt water it can be important in certain situations but we sort of have looser rules when it comes to what flies you can fish when and where and why um typically just bait fish crustaceans are our main categories when we're thinking about saltwater flies now for salt water too though like for me you know i tie a ton of shrimp flies and tie crabs bait fish you name it and you can match specific flies to little bait fish, specific shrimps to little shrimp, the same way they do it in the trout world. But what happens is you take those flies and you get on the water and you need to understand where each of those things lives, how the fish are gonna attack it if they want the crab to be pinned down on the bottom or if they're attacking shrimp that are, that are jumping on the surface. There's all different things you need to understand. I think when you start tying flies for, to fit specific situations that you're gonna find yourself in, it ultimately is gonna to lead to a better understanding of the environment you're fishing in and what those fish are doing and how they're feeding. All right, now the third reason is it's flat out enjoyable. I don't care who you are. You know, to sit down and have a cup of coffee, play some music and tie a few flies is enjoyable. It's calming. Um, I think it gets you away from staring at social media, being on computers, and it gives you something you could focus on and put your mind to that's actually gonna then go and benefit you in the field doing something fly fishing which is something you're already passionate about so if you fly fish tie up flies i think it's enjoyable and it's only going to add to the experience like we covered in point number one now growing up i was a big artist my brother's a really good artist um, we always draw we're drawing painting building um and when we, I mean, when we started skateboarding, we're building skate ramps, you know, doing the whole thing. We always had outlets for creativity. I think fly, fly tying is a great outlet for creativity. So, so there's a lot of people, you know, that think, well, I'm not creative. I'm not this, I'm not that. But I think they are. And I think being creative and even just creating at your own level of, or your own potential is important for everybody. So this is great opportunity. If you already fly fish, and you don't have strong creative outlets, think about getting into fly tying and combining those things and giving yourself that outlet to create and to put your hand to something that's gonna go ahead and benefit you in the future. All right, and lastly, it's gonna connect you to people in the industry. So 
a lot of your main guys that are fly fishermen, they're going to be fly tying also. And I think when you get into fly tying, a lot of people are more easily apt to talk about the process of fly tying or sharing different patterns. Like me, I do so many patterns on this channel. Um, and I'm just trying to put information out there for other people to enjoy and to go out and use in the field. So you'll find people are a lot freer to talk about flies than they are maybe talking about where and how they're catching certain species. So it gives you a, a plan to start conversations with people. Otherwise you may not have been able to connect with. So fly tying is a great way to, to, to bridge gaps and connect you to people in your community that enjoy fly fishing as well. So there you go dudes, that's the five reasons. I'm gonna get back to tying some of these flies. If you have some reasons that I didn't mention below, leave them in the comments section. Be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to check Backwater Fly Fishing out on Patreon in the link below. Catch you guys later, deuces.